Hey there guys, what is going on? Today we are taking a look at the top five best weapons in Warzone. Now I know this is kind of a subjective list and this is sort of up to you and depends on how you do want to play. But we are of course taking a look at WZRanked.com again and using the most played weapons in the game. The primary weapons that are used most, some of these have like an 18.5% pick rate, which is absolutely ridiculous. And you can probably already guess what that weapon is with such a high pick rate. But we are again taking a look at the top five best guns in Warzone by the usage stats. Just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I massively appreciate it and it really does help me out. But as far as I know, guys, 90% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed. So if you could take the time to hit that little red button for me, that would be absolutely massive. So let's just take a look at the number five slot on our list here of the top five best guns in Warzone right now. In the number five slot on the usage list on WZRank.com, of course, we are taking a look at the Kilo 141. Now, it's pretty easy to see why people really, really like the Kilo 141 in Warzone. It is just a consistent powerhouse. Now, it's one of those weapons that doesn't do the most damage. It's not the most accurate. It's just... It's just a great combination of all these things. Damage range, okay damage, pretty easy to control recoil, good range values, like good handling speed, decent amount of ammo to fire. It's just a weapon that really excels at being pretty good. It means you can hit the target from pretty far away. It's a fairly decent medium range combat weapon. You're never going to be able to fight at those super long distances like you would be able to with some of the other long range weapons in the game. But this is just a middle of the road powerhouse, man. This is such a good weapon in this game, mostly because it is very, very accurate, very, very easy to use. And it's just so consistent that you can hit shots from pretty much anywhere on the map. It's a very, very powerful weapon in this game. A great assault rifle to start off with here. We are looking at a class setup for this weapon. We want to run something like the monolithic suppressor to increase our damage range and sound suppression, as well as bullet velocity, which is a very nice place to start. The Syngard Arms 19.8 inch Prowler Barrel for that range, bullet velocity and recoil control means we can hit the target from further away. We moved to the VLK 3x optic as well to give us a very, very nice amount of zoom here, as well as a little bit of extra recoil control. Then we moved to the Commando foregrip as well for that recoil stabilization, meaning we can hit our shots a lot more easily. And as well, having 60 rounds in the magazine, of course, means we can hit the target as long and as hard as possible, meaning we can also take on multiple teams at the same time. So of course, in the number five slot on our best guns in Warzone list right now is the Kilo 141. I really wouldn't put this. I think there are better weapons in this list than the Kilo 141, but in usage, the Kilo 141 is number five on our list here. In the number four slot on our list here, we do have a fantastic weapon. This wing was absolutely dominating the meta previously. This is the MAC-10, of course. Now, it has received changes with the sort of attachment changes when they actually did fix up a lot of the attachments in the Season 2 update. They made the MAC-10 kind of worse. It didn't really... Like, it was broken previously. They didn't really change too much. They just made it a little bit harder for us to hit our shots. But the idea with the MAC-10 is that you sprint around everywhere, have such a high fire rate, do so much damage to people, you just hose bullets at people very, very close distance weapon. For the most part, you're not going to be able to fight at those medium distances with the MAC-10. Like, you're going to be able to hit shots sometimes, but for the most part, you're going to struggle a little bit outside of, like, very, very close range, which is, it's fine. It's always good to pair this up with, some, like, some of the other weapons that we're about to see on this list, like your snipers and, of course, your tactical rifles. But this is a close range powerhouse and always will be as long as it does have that very, very high fire rate of about 1111 rounds per minute. We are looking at a class setup for the MAC-10. Again, we want to start off with that agency suppressor for that sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and of course, effective damage range is a very, very nice place to start here. Then we continue on with the task force barrel, effective damage range, bullet velocity, and strafe speed are very, very nice statistics to gain here as well. We want that Raider stock for that ADS firing movement speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed as well. A very nice combination there. Then we want the Stanag 53 round drum for the maximum amount of ammo to fire, as well as not reducing our aim down side speed as much as the 53 round fast mag. And then to finish this off with the field agent grip, meaning we can hit our shots a little bit more easily while being able to control that recoil quite nicely. So yeah, the MAC-10 is, as I said, the close range powerhouse in Warzone. Like if you get in those very close ranges, you can just spray people down and you just hose bullets at them. I think it does lag behind in terms of time to kill up close compared to some of the number one weapons on this list, but it is still a fantastic close range option, really easy to use, and you just absolutely hose bullets at people. In the number three slot, we do have quite an interesting weapon here that I actually would not have considered very, very usable until the season two patch did change a lot of the attachments and made this weapon very, very good in terms of bullet velocity. And that is, of course, the Org here. Essentially, we get a very, very nice ability to kill people with this three range weapon. This is essentially our sniper for most of our class setups. If you don't actually like sniping and you still want to use something that is quite effective at those long distances, the Org is the weapon for you. Three round burst, great damage, great bullet velocity means you can hit the target very, very easily with this excellent amount of recoil control. We've got loads of bullets to fire and it's really, really easy to hit shots with this thing. I've played with this and I made a video on it previously and it is very, very easy to hit shots with this particular class. The Org is a very cool weapon in this game. It is a long range specialist. You can sort of kit this out to fight at those close distances, but I definitely don't recommend it. This is supposed to be your long range weapon. And then you'd pair this something with like an SMG or an FFAR 
R1 or like a Mac 10, something like that. If we are looking at a class setup for the org, of course, we want to look at that agency silencer again. Sound suppression, recoil control, velocity, and range. Of course, very, very important statistics with most of the Cold War weapons. We want that strike team barrel to increase our fire rate, as well as I think this increases our bullet velocity quite nicely as well. Then we move to the axial arms three times. We get a nice clear sight picture. Now, I know people are going to ask why you aren't just using the default sight, because the default sight is kind of bad. You can, of course, swap that out for something like a Raider stock or the SAS combat stock but I really don't like the default sight, so I always take the axial arms three times here. Then we move to the field agent grip as well. We want that vertical and horizontal recoil control increases are super, super important here to get those shots on target as easily as possible. And then lastly, the 45 round mag, so we don't reduce our aim down sight speed while having a large amount of bullets to fire. So the AUG is a very, very interesting weapon in this game. As I said, it's a long range powerhouse. You don't really want to be using this at close range. You can get away with it, but I really don't recommend it. You can always take something else to support this long range playstyle. So the AUG is the third best weapon on this particular list here. Now, the number two spot on our list, of course, goes to the Car 98 k Now, I wouldn't say this is the most powerful weapon in the game. Like, it's definitely great, and you can always one-shot down people if you are shooting people in the head. It does great damage to the body as well. But, like, it's one of those weapons that a lot of people think that they can use. I'm included in this list. A lot of people think that they can just equip this thing, go out, and absolutely shred people. But sniping in Warzone is a very, very specialized skill, and not everyone can actually pull it off. That is why you do see a KD ratio of 0.94. That is one of the lowest on this particular list here. But I mean, it's just one of those weapons that has such a high pick rate because it is a lot of fun to run around with and basically quick scope people with this particular option. Like, I am terrible at sniping in this game, but I still take a K98K every now and then because it's a lot of fun to run around with and is a very, very easy weapon to use. You just click heads and it absolutely shreds people. If we are looking at a class setup for this particular weapon, we want to run with something like the Monolithic Suppressor, giving us sound suppression, damage range, and bullet velocity, as we've spoken about previously. The Syngard Custom 27.6 for damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, the most amount of all the available barrel options, because they do give us the same stats here, so the 27.6 option is the one we go with. Then we want that tack laser, of course, for that aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness, meaning we can get those sights up nice and quickly, and not have as much sort of weapon sway as we are aiming. Sniper scope is a must-have here, because we do want to be able to get those long-range snipes going, which is a very very, very important part of this particular class setup and then lastly that stobble precision comb of course that aiming stability means we can hit the target a lot more easily here just a very very nice particular class setup that we want to go with if you are interested in sniping at all this is the weapon you do want to go with you want to hit those headshots those body shots man you absolutely dome people with this particular weapon it is a fantastic option loads of fun to run around with but again Keep in mind that it is not the easiest weapon to use. If you don't like sniping, you're not just going to throw this on and absolutely dominate people. So it does take a bit of practice, but keep that in mind. This is one of the better weapons in Warzone right now. And I'm sure you already know what I'm about to say in the number one slot. We're looking at the FFAR1. This is the most used weapon. It does have an almost 20% pick rate. That is one in five, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's got a very, very high KD ratio when you compare it to other weapons on this list. This thing absolutely shreds people. It's very, very funny with this weapon. Like this thing absolutely dominates here, man. It's just got such good sort of close range time to kill, and that's all we're after here. Such a high fire rate, man, in the assault rifle category. You get great movement speeds, great damage range at those sort of medium distances. You're not going to be able to fight at like long distances. The recoil is a little bit tricky to control, as well as not really having the class set up to fight at long distances. But man, this is a close range powerhouse. This is one of the fastest time to kill weapons up close. I think it does slightly, or it will get beaten out by the shotguns at those close distances, man. But the FFAR1 is just such an absolute bullet hose at those close ranges. It's like a better MAC-10. It does have a slightly slower fire rate than the MAC-10, but you get better values in other areas. It's easier to use, and everybody knows that this weapon is absolutely broken right now. So when it does get nerfed, the shotguns will probably take over the close range slot. But I mean, the FFAR1 is just such a great option in this game. You already know what this thing does. You've been killed by it. You've got kills with it. You know how to use this thing. So for a class setup, we want that agency suppressor here. Again, sound suppression, recoil control, velocity, and damage range, of course. This is one of the best attachments for all of the Cold War weapons. Then the takedown barrel to give us bullet velocity and straight speed. As far as I can tell here, no cons, which is pretty weird. Then the Raider stock as well for that ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed as well, meaning we can move around the map quite quickly while we are aiming down sight and firing our weapon. Then the field agent grip to keep us on target here. That vertical and horizontal recoil control increases are very, very nice with this weapon. And then lastly, the salvo 50 round fast bag, of course, to have the most amount of bullets to fire and a very fast reload speed, which is really, really important for a close range weapon. So you already know what the FFAR1 does here. I feel like we've already talked about this for too long, but this is the number one weapon in Warzone right now, of course, because it is absolutely broken. That time to kill up close is very, very ridiculous. It's one of the fastest killing weapons in the game. 
I think it is like beaten out by something like the ASVAL, but it's not used because it's got other problems. But the FFAL1 is just such an absolute powerhouse in this game. It's definitely going to get nerfed in one of the upcoming patches, so keep an eye on that. And then you'll have to fix your class setups accordingly. But as of right now, the FFAL1 is the best gun in Warzone right now. Anyway, guys, I massively appreciate you sticking around for this one. Thank you very much for watching, as I said. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. And again, 90% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed, so if you could take the time to hit that little red button, I would massively appreciate it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one, as I said already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!